Hello Let's Talk Sport viewers and welcome to our Champions League semi-final second leg preview of ASA Roma, ASA? ASA? AS Roma versus Liverpool and well as you all know by now if you've watched these videos long enough can't do any Liverpool video without Mr Joe Stanley himself number one Liverpool fan in your hearts and in his mind and well Liverpool got themselves in a prime condition, uh, prime position for this tie Five goals to two up after a magnificent performance at Anfield. It tailed off a little bit in the last 10 minutes or so, but Liverpool managed to keep themselves in that position where now travelling to Turin, to Rome, um, they are able to put themselves in a prime position to get themselves into the Champions League final for the first time since 2007, is it? Yeah. yeah. So 2007, a good long 10 plus years since they've been in that stage of the competition, of course. They have been into the Europa League final since then, but... Joe, you you must be excited at the very least, you know, knowing that Liverpool have to at least concede three goals and not score for them to have any sort of any sort of worry of not making the Champions League final. How confident are you with this Liverpool side going to Rome to pick up the result coming Wednesday night? Yeah, of course. Obviously, we're a strong side in attacking sense. It's defensively that we're slightly weak, but we've obviously improved there. I can see us getting the crucial away goal. I think it's, if we get a goal in Rome then that tie should be over. Because I know um, they scored three goals and they come from behind against Barcelona, so they've got the three goals that, that they needed. But Lightning doesn't always strike twice. Mm. I know that the manager of Rome has said, oh, we're going to do it again. Liverpool, you'll be another um, Barca. But to be honest, I can't see it. Because Jürgen Klopp's a very smart manager. and stuff. All right, we've not got Buvac because of his, uh, his league, which is going to be a big blow. But obviously, Kravitz can fill that void. He, he knows what he's doing. Jürgen knows what he's doing. He'll know the opposition very well, and he's a very smart manager. He knows what what to do. He'll be tactically astute, and we'll get to, to get the result for Liverpool. Now, considering results for Liverpool recently, it hasn't been that great in the Premier League. Uh, the two-two draw against West Brom and Albion, and then the nil-nil draw against Stoke at the weekend. You know, for once as well, the man on your T-shirt, Mo Salah, he actually looked mortal because he actually missed that sitter, didn't he? Um, but that shouldn't really cut. Bend the confidence too much of you know him. It's forty goals in all competitions, plus forty goals in all competitions a season. Um, whereas Roma, on the other hand, they won three goals to one against Chivo at the weekend. So entering this tie now, Roma are in a really good position, really to push on forward, and especially after how they finished in the, the Anfield game, they finished really strongly in the last ten minutes, getting two goals in that fixture. Do you think a strong start for Roma is needed in order for them to get back into this tie, or do you think? At any point, really, it could be fair game for Rona to try and get themselves into the Champions League final. I think Roma just needs to come out and just try and attack us. They've got nothing to lose, have they, at the end of the day? They've made the first semi final since '84 and then made it to the final that year when we beat them in their own stadium. I think Liverpool, they just need to control the play. They need to do basically what they did in the second half against Manchester City away at the Etihad, which is control the ball, control the play, and just dominate the best you can. I think. Liverpool, they've got the opportunities. They're going to let Roma have the ball, I think. I think they're going to let them soak up pressure and just going to hit them on the counter attack. And Magic Mo not scoring at the weekend was a shot, but I can see him silencing Roma on Wednesday night. I think it was like the first time in like nine games or ten games that he hadn't scored at Anfield or something like that. First time this calendar year when he started a game that he hasn't scored at Anfield. Oh, maybe he could make it two and two on Wednesday night. You never know. You never know. So speaking of. Uh, Potential goals and scoreline predictions. What's yours for Wednesday night? I think it'll be two one to Liverpool. Oh, you got any uh, any any reason behind the backing of that? Because you know, of course, Roma did come back in that Barcelona tie. Do you think it's going to be too tough of a challenge really for the attack maybe of uh, Liverpool for Roma's defence to handle? I think that's that's the main thing. Obviously, Roma's defence struggled in the first leg, and the short of Perotti and there's one of the other players, but. Lost off my mind who yeah. the players that's missing. Two key midfielders are missing for Roma this, uh, for this game, so that's going to be a struggle. The, defensively, they couldn't handle the front three of Liverpool. There was too much pace and guile for them. And I think it's just going to be the same in the second leg. If they play the three at the back again, they're just going to struggle again, being isolated 1v1 with the players. So I think Liverpool will play counter attacking football. And we'll just hit Roma on the break and sucker punch them and get the two goals. See, I think it's going to be Roma free. Now listen to this. I think Liverpool will get the one goal, the one vital goal that they need at Roma to go through to the semi, uh, to the final of the Champions League. You know, Roma haven't conceded the goal at home in the Champions League so far this season, but I don't think they faced really an attack like Liverpool can offer. 
course, they faced off against Chelsea and Atletico Madrid in the group stages and Barcelona in the uh, the quarterfinals. But you know, we're talking about a Barcelona that is was not is not the same as what it was last season with like Neymar in the squad. It's not really on that level. They still got Suarez and Messi, but. When you look at what Liverpool can offer with Mane, Firmino and Salah, they can both be equal threats at any point in the game. And I think eventually they will get that one goal, that one goal that they just need. Perhaps they will get a, like a 3-0 scoreline and maybe there'll be you know, some sort of hope that Roma could get through. But I think like last 15 minutes or so they'll get a goal and nick themselves way into the final. I think that'll be the kind of result that Liverpool would enjoy to see happen. I mean... How, how do you want it to unfold? Do you want it to be Liverpool aggressive from the start or do you think they should be defensive and wait for the game to, to play out first and then hit them on the counter-attack like they have been doing all season? The main thing for me is that Liverpool gets to the final. Mm. It doesn't matter how they do it, as long as they get to the final, whether it be on the away goals rule, scoreline, penalties, whatever, as long as Liverpool gets to the final, that's the main thing. I think Liverpool will just play their game. They'll do what they do normally because obviously... This Champions League one, they've been amazing the whole run. They scored goals in every single game, apart from the Porto one, if I remember right. They, yeah, yeah, it was 0-0, wasn't it? Yeah, but yeah. they were five up from the first leg anyway, right. so it was more of like a training exercise. Oh, 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 that's disrespectful, Porto. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind that. Anyway, let us know your own predictions in the comments box below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Let's Talk Sport, Let's Talk Sport content. And also make sure you hit that notification bell so you get alerted every single time a new video goes up on the channel. See you soon, guys, and... Uh, Let's see if Liverpool can go through.